Welcome back to the channel, Flats Class YouTube fans. Today we're going to talk about top water. That's right, top water plug fishing. And I'm going to show you a couple of retrieves that will draw some vicious strikes. But before we do that, I want to recognize one of my important sponsors here because none of this stuff happens on the YouTube channel without Busby Tackle Storage. If you're not familiar with them, check them out. Go to busbyfishing.com. Look at what they have. They have some of the most, I'm going to say, state-of-the-art tackle storage systems, tackle bags, rod covers, you name it. And it's built to last. In fact, I've been so impressed with it. I've been putting a lot of my tools and a lot of my hardware, screws, nuts, bolts, washers, all in these boxes because they are tough. If you can't find them at your local retailer, go to sodiumusa.com. You can purchase them online there. Okay, I'm gonna send you to the water where my wife and I were practicing for the upcoming Plantation Inn Redfish Classic, and we were using top water. Now, she's not a professional angler like myself, but she is a very good angler, and you're about to see. Okay, I'm headed uh, back to the back where we're gonna wrap things up after you watch the video and talk about how you can get a hold of some of these plugs. Most of the boils that I'm seeing are like 10, 15 yards off the bank, so yeah. That's about the line, or maybe even a little more left. I don't see anything sitting tight. Everything seems to be off the bank. That was a mullet. You can see them flashing. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, heads out here. Like I can see a lot of the oyster, patch art oyster bars that are out here. Hole scrapers. You might have caught the hook on that one. A lot of that is because I've got you going into the wind a little bit. I just got the sun behind me. I just I just want to go to this hook and that point that's up ahead of you on the right side of that crab pot and give that a try. There's a little drain coming out to the right of that. I'm going to have you throw the top water in that. If you don't get anything then, we're going to make a bait swap on your rod. See how that water comes out around the right side of that mangrove? There you go. Nice cast. Beautiful. A little drain where a fish should be. Come on. Straight against that bank in front of you where your rod tip is. There you go. Won't get right out of there. Can't do it much better than that, girl. 
that steady rhythmic walk is not what they're tuning into. I mean, they tuned into that erratic walk that I had, but I think I'm going to put you on a jerk shad. The jerk shad has a sub erratic walk. They may be a little more willing to hit that, so I'm going to get up here on this edge and swap you up. I was tickling them the right way on my top water. <sighs> Nothing like a good old redfish. They have to micro anchor us down. Look at that. Hit the micro button. Decent one too. This is one of my favorite plugs is the Papa Mullet in the mangrove honey color. Once you start getting into October and November, it's just one of those colors that they love. Looks like every big fish back here. Oh man. Come on buddy. I don't use much drag on my casting rods. I usually just thumb them. Alright, buddy. You done? Are you done? Alright. There he is. In all his glory. You got caught off guard, bud. Alright, let's... Let's get you undone. He's free. There you go, buddy. Let's do it again, babe. Okay. All right, working the papa mullet is a little bit different than working most top waters. So that lure there has the cup face on the front, so it spits water as it walks back and forth. It also tends to work tail down a lot like the Duke dog. So my cadence with this is much different than I had Blondie working the, the Duke dog where it was more of a rhythmic back and forth and back and forth. This one, I'll spit, 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 and then I'll walk it real quick, and then I'll let it stop. And then I'll spit, 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 walk it real quick, and that erratic type of cadence usually will draw a strike from a snook or a speckled trout. So throwing it out here, get it out there with a little bit of distance so you can see it. I'm going to turn this camera on so you guys can see how it walks. But my, my rod tip motions aren't, aren't always on. just like walk the dog like that. It's like spit, 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 rest, then walk the dog real quick. Just make a big commotion. Try to pull them from a distance. Spit, 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 spit then walk the dog again. And that erratic back and forth motion is generally what gets my fish going, especially on days where you have to call them from farther away. We've got off color water because of all the wind. And the other thing that we really are paying attention to here is I'm throwing in more of the deep spots with this particular plug today. So to work it properly, you need a rod that's 6'6", to maybe seven foot because especially on a small micro skip like the Eldora, I'm working the rod tip down a lot, even though I've been standing up there on the polling platform, working this plug a lot. But it's a lot of stop and go. And when the water temps get down in the low 70s like they are right now, this is a good tactic for top water fishing. You will catch more fish than if you just rhythmically walk it back and forth. Now we caught that one mid red that was in the middle of the slot and we had another one push up on this plug but today has been so basically cloudless I've got Blondie now throwing a power bait down shorelines while I work the middle but this cast really well and if you've never worked it over grass flats and potholes I promise you you're gonna catch a lot of trout this is more of a backcountry color, this mangrove honey color. And I use this in these big bays and open parts of the creek. And on the warm up days after the front, like 
third, fourth, fifth day after the front before the next front gets here, it's a snook getter. All right, I go back to work. The wind is cranking, and all those text messages were friends seeing if uh, we join them at the monkey bar for pizza and a couple of cold brews. So that's where we're headed back to the monkey bar right there on beautiful Homosassa River. See you guys there. Okay, you're probably wondering what was going on at the end of that video, toward the end of that video. And what was happening is we had noticed there was a four horseman popping cork that was sitting still out in the middle of this small pass between rock islands. And then we saw it move. And I thought it would be kind of cool to add the clip if we could catch that cork by hand. Well, it didn't quite work out that way, but it was humorous trying. Anyhow, let's talk a little bit about the how-to portion of this. That walk, 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 spit, 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 and then just drag it through the water, stop it, and then start that same pattern. That erratic type of retrieve generally gets a lot of fish, especially speckled trout, to really hit a lure, a topwater plug, if you will. So. It's not always that rhythmic walk the dog deal that you've learned that retrieve your entire fishing life. You have always done that. And some days it works better than anything. And then other days you never get a bite. Well, this was one of those types of days where I got several blow ups using the Papa mullet with that erratic walk, pop, pop, drag, start it up again. Do it fast, do it slow, very erratic. I got a couple of pushes, I got a couple of blasts, and I caught one redfish on it. And I wasn't fishing very often, remember. The Eldora doesn't have the move trolling motor on it here. I have to push pull the boat. So my wife was doing most of the fishing, and her best topwater retrieve is that walk the dog, that steady, you do it this way, and a big fish is gonna eat it just didn't work out that day. It was really bright, cloudless sky. They just didn't want it. So I ended up swapping her over to a subsurface bait. And then we started catching all kinds of undesirables, you know, still fun, ladyfish, lizard fish, puffer fish, um, but not what she wanted. And then we had a couple of friends call and then we went, met them at the monkey bar for some pizza and brews. But this particular um, plug, this is the Papa mullet and in the mangrove honey color which has a dark belly and it has that gold broken glass look well it looks a lot like the finger mullet back in the back and even though the brown belly doesn't look that natural it silhouettes really good against the lighter sky so that retrieve for me and the fact that the cut face of this plug spits the water brings a lot of attention to it you noticed i mentioned deep water several times 
Oftentimes, over the deeper holes, this is the plug that I fish quite often over those deeper spots because I can pull a fish that's laying down there like a snook, uh, or maybe even an oversized redfish will lay down in those deeper holes. It's not interested in doing anything, but it sees this thing spitting and coughing, and it'll come up, and then it'll just race up and hit it. Um, didn't happen on this particular day, but most often it it really does draw some big strikes, and it's probably one of my favorite topwater plugs to throw. Hopefully you took something away from this that you can take uh, out on your boat and catch some fish. Uh, and the weekend's here, so get out there and go do it. I can't do any of this without sponsors like Busby and subscribers like you. So come over here, hit that button for subscription, and give us the like. The faster we trend and the quicker we get to 50,000 subs, well, I'm gonna have a full-time cameraman. And when I have a full-time cameraman, I'm gonna be taking you on the road to a lot of different places, from Texas to North Carolina to the Florida Keys. So help me get there. Help me help you. All right, I gotta get that other boat I just got back from South Carolina washed, stored, because we're taking the Eldora to the plantation tomorrow to fish the Redfish Classic. And I'll have a video on that too.